What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and welcome back to some Animal Crossing. Yeah, it's early. <laughs> Apparently. Nintendo, uh, not, not, not Nintendo, uh, YouTube has went, uh, they shut down for a little bit. They, uh, yeah. I found this out from one of my great friends, uh, PK Gam. He told me, well, he didn't really tell me, he told his, uh, people on Facebook. Um, you know, people that follow his page and all that stuff on, you know, his Facebook. Uh, about this. I was like, well, damn, I had no idea because yesterday... I recorded a couple of videos and I uploaded a couple of videos. I don't know when they went down exactly. Um, but my sister Bethany says she has had issues before. Well, she couldn't watch my videos because of that, and she couldn't be watching anyone else's videos because, I guess, in her area, um, in Alabama, I guess there's something wrong with YouTube. <laughs> it's weird. I know. But, um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just gaming over here. I got nothing better to do with my life. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what that was about, but I don't care. Yeah, I moved some shit. I was about to get that done yesterday, actually, but I never did. Alright, look around. Yeah! So in the last day, uh, last part, uh, I don't really cap this kind of shit, so it's up to you to watch it, uh, for the most part. But, yeah, mostly, I'll tell you, I guess right now, I ended up paying more mortgage, how is it, is it mortgage? <laughs> I wish, um, but I know it's mortgage, but the T is silent, that's weird. Hey, have you ever noticed, like, a lot of words? Oh! Yeet! Yay! Yay! Yay, I'm rich! Yeah, okay, thanks, Celestia, I found the rock. Okay. So now I'll have to look for that in this video. It seems to be all these videos are, really. It's just me looking for rocks. That have money in them. <laughs> There's only one a day, so it could be any rock. Um, so I don't know if I told you that before, but I have right now. Looks like I twenty thousand dollars. I buy a car now. <laughs> uh, I've lost it. But anyways, um, who hasn't really lost? Who hasn't? Who hasn't lost their mind yet? I don't know. However, uh, I'm just, I'm just gaming. I have nothing better to do with my life except play video games. But I tell ya, I, I could have gotten that from there. Okay, so I go to fucking dumpster diving apparently out in this game. I, I go dumpster diving because it's the thing that I do. Now tell me I have enough to actually pay the rest of the rent. Or not, 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 it's not rent. I uh, pay the rest of the mortgage for the house and the game. And, and I tell ya, if this, if this, if this was reality, I wish more people could actually do that. Like pay it off as you go. Um. Like, you don't have to pay it all at once. I, I, you probably could do that if you find the right home buyer, the, the guy that, or the person that will basically sell you the house. I mean, you could, in theory, I mean, if you find the right person, I guess, they will give you the house for, well, not really for free. I mean, you'll, you'll still have to, like, pay it off. But, at least, that would be nice, you know, pay it off as you go. So let's say you had a job, and you know, uh, you ended up getting a paycheck for like a hundred plus dollars. You could spend some of those hundred dollars on um, toward the house, and the rest for what you actually need, such as you know, food or clothes or whatever. Or in my case, video games, um, and food <laughs> and things like hot pockets. I know I don't really need video games and stuff, but if I want to make it big as a gamer, I want, I want, that's what I want. I don't want to work at Walmart, I don't want to work at Target, I don't want to work at, it would be nice to work at GameStop, I guess. Uh, even though I've heard a lot of horror stories about it, uh, and a company that might be going down soon, 
I don't know. There's a lot to go by when it comes to that. But anyways, I'm thinking, you know, that'd be nice. You know, pay as you go. So that way, you don't have to be homeless and you could actually, uh, you know, live there cheaper. Anyway, it, it's, it, it would be kind of like the whole rent-to-own system, I guess, or rent rent a center rent some other people I don't fucking know but it could be like them where you know you can rent it for however long and you pay something I mean, if you get a paycheck per month that would really be kind of bad if you have to pay it per month however um, the thing is um, if you have a job that will pay you per week, you know, your paycheck comes in and all that, then you got plenty of money to work with, you know, you got plenty of money to buy what you what you want, as well as pay, you know, the, the, the house, and all that stuff. I don't know. I'm sure that there might actually be some things that do that. Or if there isn't a person that really does it, there might be some sort of um, agency or something that could help you out with that because here's the thing inevitably because my grandfather he owns his house blah 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 and inevitably he's going to die and he's you know and after, I mean, he didn't leave us the house so we're fucked and this is when I'm thinking about I, I'm, I'm thinking about wanting to go back to Dayton you know live in Dayton Ohio or hell, maybe even Cincinnati one of those two I'm fine with either way. I'm fine with anywhere else but Manx County. But, um, the thing is, um, I'm just doing whatever. Um, you know, that would be nice to actually find someone that's like, oh yeah, you know, this and that, this and that, you know, we can help you with whatever you need. And I'm like, okay, sure, I'll be fine. Because, I'm sure we... Uh, th this house isn't worth anything, really. I mean, it, when it comes down to it... If anybody buys a house, it's gonna be to tear it down anyway, so... Yeah. I mean, we're trying to get people to help, you know, fix the windows and, and give us heating and all that stuff, so... We're not entirely... Uh, so we can actually, I guess, add. Not only when it comes time, add... Um, the value of the house so we can sell it for a little bit more because it'll be in better condition. But also, um, yeah, I mean, I really think if we would have stayed in Dayton, we would not be this way. Now, it's not my fault that we live in this shitty area is Brian's fault. And I'll make a video about him if I haven't already. I, mean, I, I know I have, but uh, I'll, I'll do a video explaining everything, you know, as to why we live in this hellhole and whatever else. I, I know some of my friends, they graduate high school, or they don't even graduate. They go somewhere else and finish off the rest of the school there. And, but they move to like different states, like they may move to Colorado, they may move to Texas, Tennessee, Alabama, but they may move to another part of Ohio, a, a much bigger, better part of Ohio. I mean, I would love that. I would love to move to a, a bigger, better part of Ohio, or if you give me a chance, a bigger area in general, like. I mean, not Meg's County, obviously. I fucking I fucking hate this place. I fucking hate this place more than I hate anything else. Aside from Brian, I hate him more than life itself. Um, but with I mean, yeah, if I move to Dayton or anywhere like that, I'll be closer to him. But hey, I can defend myself. I can protect myself. I can fight now. When I was younger, I couldn't fight whatsoever. I I couldn't do anything. I was just about as useless. As goddamn Donald Trump. 
And that's saying something because he's really useless. He's like the most useless thing on Earth. And I mean thing, he's not even human. If he was a human, he would actually have some sort of uh, empathy and sympathy for people. He would love people. He would actually treat them right. But, no. That's not how the world works, and that's not how he works. Anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So, I don't, I don't feel bad by saying I hate this place. I really do. And I don't regret saying that either. The thing is, though, if I move somewhere, somewhere like Dayton, where ex what what part of Dayton? There's there's the suburb, you know, there's there's a suburban area. There's a rural, rural, rah rah rah. <laughs> yeah, that's a really fucking hard word to say for anybody. You know, the rural, rural, rah, that area. <laughs> There's that, there's there's like the center of town where, you know, the, the mall is and all that stuff. There's, you know, other areas of Dayton. There's other areas of Columbus, Cincinnati, anywhere. Um, almost every area in uh, Meigs County sucks. However... Most areas of the world, when it comes to the U.S., they mostly have their rural and suburban areas, as well as a city. Uh, you know, the, the, the center of town, basically. Like uh, Huntington or Charleston. The center of town is where everything's at. I mean, everything. It's so fucking crowded. And I was there. Uh, we went to a school trip. Both in Huntington and Charleston. Damn, you couldn't fucking go anywhere. And I mean anywhere. Because there's always someone in your way. It, it's not as bad as New York City. From what I've seen and heard. You know, I never went to New York, so I don't know firsthand. But I have seen and talked to people on my friends list that tell me all about it. And tell me... Oh yeah, you don't want to go to New York if you hate civilization, or if you don't, if you don't like crowded places. I I hate crowded places. I mean, because of all the people you'll be you know, bumping into. I mean, I'm not much of a people person. I don't like people as a whole. I'm like antisocial. That's why if I ever did, if I ever worked at like Walmart or Target, I'd want to be the person that does uh something. That doesn't involve talking to a lot of people. You know, like... Like, working as a cashier, or working... In the store... That would not be my thing. That would not be my thing at all, because... Of the fact I would have to talk to people... And do all this stuff. But, being a person that, um... Would... Um... You know do something such as you know bring stuff off the truck or something like that you know that would be nice that would be that'd be good that'd be cool for me it's not even a horse why don't you call it a vaulting horse if it's not even a fucking horse but anyways I just wanted to see what it was um but that's the thing is that I have no idea exactly where I'd want to work I mean we have nothing here, so... I mean... I... Okay, here's the thing. I don't want to work at, like, a depart... Uh, I don't want to say a department store. But I don't want to work somewhere. I don't want to work, like, at Walmart or whatever. But if Amy gets... You know, my mother Amy, if she, um... Ever goes to... You know, if we ever move back to Dayton, or somewhere that has a Target, I'm sure she might want to move back there. Um, go, you know, move back to Target, you know, in that... You know, work there and you know, she'd love to work there and if that's the case I'd might as well work there too because I don't have my own car I don't have anything to get me to my own areas so I would say um, with that probably end up <laughs> toilet. probably end up getting somewhere 
that I would like to go in general. I don't think it's a good idea to really stay in one area too long. Like I I have over here because of all this and that. Now people think I complain a lot when it comes to that. Well, in a way, yes, I am complaining because of all the way that, you know, that my life is and blah blah blah. But it, you know, you would be doing the same thing if you were in the situation that I was in. If you had all this hell coming at you left and right and center, backwards, I don't know, any fucking direction, even from the goddamn skies, you know, that would be bad. You know, you wouldn't want to live somewhere like that. It's bad that I would rather be shot up by a gang member over at uh, Chicago, Illinois, than live here. Because at least if I die, I'm dying fast. I'm dying honorably, I guess. It's not really honorably, it, it's more like, whatever. But, the thing is, I mean, it's bad. I, I, I had a dream last night that there was going to be some, uh, that, that, that there was going to be a war, like an actual war happening here. Not like between the US Army and the terrorists or whatever, but I mean like a war among the people. Among the townsfolk of Racine and Meg's County as a whole. Like, there might. I, I don't know. I had a dream about that last night, and it, it's got me worried because the night prior, you know, the, the, the night prior and the day prior, you know, day and night, same fucking thing, you know, within 24 hours of that. Someone else told me that. Someone said. I feel like there's war that's going on that th that's gonna happen in Meg's County, and because of that, I don't feel safe here. I did I didn't really feel safe in the first place, but I really don't feel safe now. I mean, I'm afraid I might go outside again and get jumped. I, I was already jumped once, and seeing as how they that they, they didn't kill me, they're going to go more extreme than they did last time. And and, and Meg's County word spreads fast, so if someone says, "Ah, oh, damn it." I didn't manage to kill William Clark or whatever. And they're gonna be like, huh, we need more power. We need more force. We need stronger men. We need to bring a gun. I mean, I, I'm actually kind of shocked that they didn't bring a gun. Anybody that really jumps someone, yeah, they mostly use knives, but at the same time, they also, oh, I forgot why I was going in there in the first place. Um, but they mostly bring knives. But there are people that bring guns with them. And it'd be pretty easy to bring a gun with you and have no one notice the gunshot because, um, you know, oh yeah, alone. Uh, but anyways, fuck that. Okay, but anyways, yeah, I mean, I don't feel safe here. I mean, it's easy to get a gun and have people not notice. The, the, the shop because there's a thing called a silencer not just because it's basically illegal to have a silencer in general um, doesn't mean shit things are illegal and people still have them guns should I, I don't want to say that they, that they should be illegal I'm, I'm thinking you know certain guns Go back to pink. I want a pink house. Pink. Yes. That's what I like about this game. So anyways, I think that's it for this video and this day. I paid off my loan and blah blah blah. I think people should do that in reality as well. I don't know. Um, so yeah, just whatever, you know, and as always, I will see you all in the next video and next day. I know it's really early compared to what I usually do. I usually do it like fucking 7 or 8 at night. I actually usually start my videos at 7 or 8 and I upload at like 9 or 10. I upload really late at night. So, yeah. Anyways... Peace out, people, and bro hoof. Boom!